Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel, Darren Isaac here, and as you can see by the title, today's focus is going to be on full coverage, you know, natural, flawless looking skin, and today we're skipping primer, so I just wanted to go ahead and jump right in with this Tatcha Water Cream, and this really helps to minimize pores, uh, I really love, love, love that stuff, and uh, you know, I been using this technique for years now highlighting my hairline with a I believe that's a Japanese 215 brush um, don't quote me on that but uh, for the best results I would definitely use a flat brush like the one I'm using to highlight your hairline and definitely always remember to blend and blend blend for the best you know results for this technique always blend that down and then going right in with foundation, we're going to use the LA Girl in shades Toast and Rich Cocoa. And as you can see, I'm using a much more dense brush to go ahead and apply the foundation. And as you'll see here in a second, I'll go ahead and use a much more loose stippling brush to blend it into my skin. And I love this brush. It really, really blends the foundation. Uh, it just, I don't know. I'm never giving this brush up. I never want it to. <laughs> I never want it to mess up. But uh, this is like one of my favorite brushes. And notice how I'm working in sections just to make sure you know everything's even and nicely blended. Um, this isn't something you want to rush, especially when you're going for you know the most natural skin finish. You want to make sure everything looks as blended as possible. All right, I'm gonna use these Sistar Cosmetics in the shades Brownie first, and then I'm gonna apply tan on top. I'm gonna use Brownie as more of a concealer shade uh, rather than a highlight shade. But um, I just love how radiant these concealers are. They sent these over um, to me the other week, and I absolutely love them. If you watch my last video, I actually used these concealers, so. Um, yeah, if you, as you guys can see, excuse me, um, they just look so, you know, I wish I didn't even have to set that, like I would love to just walk around like that, literally. <laughs> but unfortunately, of course, we do have to set it, but um, I'm going to let you guys see how, how well they just blend into my skin. All right, and for contour, um, using the Fenty Beauty and Espresso. And as you can see, I'm literally just flicking from my temple down to where it naturally just flicks off my face. Um, I'm not dragging, you know, it up and down, you know, the side of my face. I see a lot of people do that. And uh, you just naturally flick it from the temple area down to where it just naturally just glides off your face. And again, um, I'm gonna use this brush literally throughout the entire video, um, stippling that into my skin without messing up that concealer. <laughs> And I didn't apply it to my forehead because there's usually product left on the brush from the other areas that I've blended. So since I want this to be the most natural skin finish, I don't want too much contour on the forehead area. But as you guys can see, it blends out amazing, um, all thanks to that brush.
I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful this looked. Um, literally just like skin, just blended. Laura Mercier, I'm gonna use that to set my under eyes. And around my nose area, mouth area, everywhere I put the uh, concealer obviously is where I'm going to apply this loose powder. Alright, and then just blending in a little bit more. Alright, getting that foundation set. Just making sure, once again guys, that everything is blended in. And like I said, I'm going to use that brush for literally everything. Now we're going to go in and add a little bit of depth into the cheeks, followed by some mascara. And I really, really love this mascara, especially for my lashes. It makes it actually look like I have lashes since, you know, mine are fairly short. And then we're going to set that with some Laura Mercier. I mean, not Laura Mercier, that's for rose water, guys. Setting that with rose water and moisturizing my lips with a little bit of chapstick. And as you can see, it literally just looks flawless. Um, it looks like there's highlight on my skin, but obviously there isn't. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.